Today we have a freezer that's running about 25 degrees, 24, 25 degrees. Um, I got me masked up, so sorry if you can't hear me. Uh, but we're gonna go inside and check it out. Evaporator coil is clear, no ice. Condenser. This guy usually is supposed to be about minus 10 and uh, it's about 25 in here. So let's go up to the roof. Right, this is our condensing unit. Condensing unit is running. My glass is pretty empty, so we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, gas it up and uh, do a leak search. Uh, this place is the plasma uh, plasma place. Y'all remember I had that unit that was uh, had a short. Found a couple wires uh, uh, rubbed out inside in the evaporator, so we're back at this place. So let me go ahead and open this up and uh, take a closer look. All right, guys. So we're hooked up to the system, and you can see our head pressure is about 150. Suction is about 10 psi. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and add gas until we clear that side glass. Then we'll add some more for winter charge. Um, so I'm gonna start off uh, with the basics. <clears throat> I'm gonna purge my hoses and all that. So. Once you hook up, you want to come right in here. See, this, this system doesn't have a whole, lot of, a whole liquid. lot of liquid, so just purge it for a few seconds, and you'll get all the air out of this hose. Purge this one for a few seconds, get the air out of that hose. Now we're going to open this guy up, and we're going to flip it. We're going to assume that's all the way, and then we're going to purge here. There we go. So now, our hoses are all free of uh, non-condensables, air, all that good stuff. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and add gas. Remember, 400 series refrigerants go in as a liquid. So we're gonna try to meter it in as much as possible. And we're gonna let it suck it in until we clear that side glass. So uh, once we do that, we'll go ahead and uh, use this little D-Tech uh, Techmate. We're just gonna see if we have any um, any leaks whatsoever so uh, give it a few minutes i'll get back to you so we've added uh, a little bit of refrigerant not a whole lot side glass is looking a lot better head pressure is definitely looking a lot better it's just low in a situation like this guys if this freezer was completely flat i would add a little bit of trace gas put some nitrogen in it and then do a leak search but in this case, it was just slightly low. So we're gonna go ahead and gas it up, do a leak search and uh, figure out what's going on. So we're almost there. Yep, we're almost there. Right, so we are good to go now. Got a full sight glass. Head pressure is looking a lot better. Suction's looking a lot better. So let me shut this off for a second. All right, so one of the things I cannot do is I am not going to torch this receiver because receiver because you can see that it has insulation and right now it is overtime and it is Saturday today so we're not gonna we're not gonna take all that off uh, torch it find the liquid level and do all that good stuff I'm just gonna uh, add a little bit of more 
uh, charge so that we can have a little bit of a winter uh, a winter charger a winter seal now that I have it shut off I'm gonna do a quick leak leak search guys and I'll, I'll show you if I find anything checking this whole unit and as soon as I come back here I can already see signs of oil right there and that one right there so yep got a leaking micro channel condenser let me pull it back let it reset and then it'll come back in here and search again yep so right now it's in low sensitivity it'll pick up uh decently small leaks there it goes just picked up that top one. Oh, thank you guys appreciate the silence there it is it won't give you a ppm readout it won't it's not like the h10 but it's pretty smart you, you you pull it back let it reset with just some fresh air i guess and then you introduce it back into the leak there it is so uh we're gonna have to get with a customer and see if they're gonna want us to replace the coil or or replace the entire condensing unit that's up to them uh this place like i said it's a black uh blah, blah. it's a blood plasma bank so this just feeds a little ante room and the once you go into the ante room you go into the two main freezers which is those right there it's freezer three and four or three and four whatever so uh we'll get them up and running for tonight uh for the weekend and uh we'll talk to them on monday this is a micro channel coil and i'm not torching the receiver i front seated this valve and i'm gonna see if we have a safe pump down I, if for some reason that compressor starts screaming and screeching, I'll just shut it off right here. But um, pretty much what I do with a safe pump down is I just want to know if we're not overfilling the system to where the refrigerant over exceeds the capacity of the receiver. And I've actually done that once about two years ago. There we go. So see, that's a safe pump down. We know that we are not over exceeding capacity of that receiver. So uh, we cleared the side glass, added a little bit more charge. I'll probably add a couple more squirts um, just in case uh, it decides to leak out a whole bunch between now and Monday. And uh, But that's it, guys. That's, that's what I mean by a safe pump down. I had a couple questions on it a couple videos ago. So. so now we can go ahead and open this up and get the system running again. Done. Zero out your scale. And you weigh your tank so this tank weighed 30 pounds seven ounces that's just the way i do it 30 pounds seven ounces so we're at 25 pounds eight ounces so now we're at 25 pounds eight ounces so we added about five pounds of gas that's not bad so now we're just going to continue on go and do the leak search inside and we'll be good to go we're at negative uh, 14 and oh damn it our set point is negative 20 so we're dropping pretty good we're good to go guys so we didn't get any hits on the way in I know this is not the best way to do a leak search, you know, shut the fans off and all that, but I already found the primary leak. So I'm just kind of bringing this guy in here to see if there's a leak inside the evaporator and I don't get a hit. So this evaporator is uh, leak free for the most part. anyways as always guys thanks for watching see you guys on the next one coronavirus <laughs>